Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you would never ask, Heidi. Today is Monday, April the 11th. It's National Barbershop Quartet Day. I brought my barbershop quartet in for that. No, I guess I don't you have one. You have a barbershop no, quartet? I don't. I don't. Uh, although, I would love to be in one. National Cheese <laughs> why, Fondue. Why would that not surprise that me would be at fun. all? I'd be that uh, bass, bass, bass guy. No, you really wouldn't. Would I be the high singing guy? Who would I be? Right in the middle? I don't know. Probably right in the middle. I had somebody ask me once, are you a bass or a tenor? And I said, tenor. Tenor 15 minutes late, usually. (laughs) (sighs) All right. Hey, uh, National Cheese Fondue Day, National 8-Track Tape Day, National Pet Day, which we're going to talk about here in a bit, and National Submarine Day today. So all of that stuff happening on this Monday. And I've got a guest. It's a Movie Star Monday, and our guest is Lee Majdub. He's in the new Sonic the Hedgehog. He was in the first one in 2020. We talked to him back then. We're going to talk to him again. The new one is out now, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. What can I say that I haven't already said about BetterCreditCards.com? It's a website. You go there to get a better credit card. Okay, that's really probably all I need to say for most of you, but I still have time left, so how about this? At BetterCreditCards.com, we have different kinds of credit cards, some with better points and perks, some designed to help you build your credit. Whatever stage of life you happen to be in, we want to help. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Since today is National Pet Day, I've got a pet-related survey from Top Cashback. Uh, 27% of Americans spend more money on their pets than they do on themselves. Oh, that's definitely not us. Uh, Do you own a pet? 81% said yes. What kind of pet? Dog was number one at 70%. Then cat was 48%. Fish, 9%. Bird, 5%. How many pets do you own? Number one answer, one pet at 42%. Two, 25%. Three uh, was 12%. And six or more was 11%. Have six or more pets. On average, how much do you spend per pet each year? The number one answer was... uh, between two hundred and fifty and five hundred dollars, <laughs> a year thirty percent. This does not inc- include veterinary expenses; it's other stuff, food and stuff. Uh, do you buy holiday gifts for your pet? Number one answer: yes, sixty-eight yes, percent. Uh, do you look for discounts when you shop? Eighty-four percent said yes. Yes. Favorite thing about having a pet: lowering my stress level. Sixty-three yep, percent. Absolutely. There we go. Uh, if you want to read all of that, because I had to speed through it uh, on this pet day. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Are you looking for an energy drink that's natural, lasts longer, has no dyes, no artificial flavorings, and no sugar? Blitz Energy Drink is the answer. With only 10 calories per serving and 200 milligrams of caffeine, our formula will help increase your focus, endurance, mood, and energy levels. Order now at drinkblitzenergy.com. Use promo code RADIO20 to save 20% and get free shipping on any canister. Drink drinkblitzenergy.com promo code radio20 that's drinkblitzenergy.com did you know brought to you by radiotravelgroup.com heidi did you know dancing is good for a guy's masculinity according to a new study researchers in finland set out to discover what impact dancing during childhood has on men in adulthood according to those they interviewed dancing was a good way of expressing themselves physically and it made them more positive about their bodies it also helped them grow more confident in discussing life's important questions. In Finland, the dance scene began emphasizing the masculinity of male dancers in the 1950s. Dancers were compared to top athletes performing martial arts moves as part of their routine. Okay. So, um, that's one thing. I wish that I was a better dancer because my beautiful bride over here is like, we should go dancing. And I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? I'd break both of my knees. I'm not a I'm not a dancer. Uh, some people look so graceful when they get on the dance floor. I look like the Kool Aid Man just jumped through a wall. Not good. All right, there we go. We don't know everything, but now we know this. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Bridgerton season two has pushed the show to number one. On Netflix, on the top 10 list for the uh, uh, the world, I guess. English language shows, number one is Bridgerton, which I've not seen. Uh, no, da, da, I haven't da, 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 seen that either. 193 million hours. I'm looking to see if there's uh, just eight episodes. 
It began streaming just recently. Hilaria Baldwin is expecting for the seventh time. She announced the happy news Jeez. on her Instagram. They share six kids between her and Alec Baldwin. Well, we already know he's not shooting blanks. Would, uh, would you? <laughs> that is so awful, Heidi. <laughs> no. Moving on. New photos. You crack yourself up, don't you? I really New photos do. from the Game of Thrones prequel, House of the Dragon, were shared online. Uh, I guess a new series is going to premiere August 21st. Now I'm going to go talk to Heidi about decency. <laughs> Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Join us in October for The Sands, a week of music and fun that's been described as the best week ever by many guests. This year, we have more icons and more fun. Loverboy, Belinda Carlisle, Lou Graham, Vanilla Ice, Samantha Fox, Firehouse, and many more already on the schedule. Plus, more announcements coming soon. Plan to join us October 25th through the 30th at Planet Hollywood Beach Resort Cancun. This all-inclusive event will be the time of your life. Learn more now at radiotravelgroup.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of bettercreditcards.com. Married people problems. That's what I've got here. This was submitted to me. It apparently came from the people of Twitter. So this was on Twitter. Uh, I'm not really on there a lot. I'm on there, but not a lot. Uh, Okay. Marriage is just your spouse's, your spouse perpetually standing in front of the kitchen drawer or cabinet wherever you need to go. So, so Mm, it's like I need in that drawer, but she's there. Uh, Next one. My wife gets mad if we put the milk back in the fridge with only one sip left, which is weird based on all of her 96% empty shampoo bottles. Uh, sorry we're late. My husband had to drive around the parking lot five times till he found a spot he liked better. <laughs> that is true. Now, why throw in throw it in the hamper when I can throw it on a chair two feet from the hamper? <laughs> that is also you. Why are you pointing at me? Yeah. Uh, my husband keeps telling me I have too many clothes, like a man who doesn't want to be a husband anymore. <laughs> Oh, he says it like he doesn't. He's saying it like a man who doesn't want to be a husband anymore. All right. Um, Husband sneezes. Me. Bless you. Husband sneezes again. Me. I can't live like this. (laughs) (laughs) And finally, again, married people problems. After 22 years, my best marriage advice is don't marry someone who sets his two phones and alarm clock to go off at five minute intervals and then always hit snooze for at least an hour. Mm. I couldn't do that. No. I I honestly don't usually use an alarm. No, I, have I an don't alarm either. Set. I kind of just wake up yeah. on my own. I have an alarm set, but I'm usually up and like making coffee before that ever even makes noise. So. Right. But uh, I remember back in the day where I did need an alarm, and, and uh, I didn't. I still didn't do it like that. When it went off, I'm just like, okay, I got to get up. There are times that I would lay there for a minute thinking, do, do I really have to get up? Could I call in sick? I'm like, I'm, <laughs> but I'm not sick, and I've never called in sick, so probably not going to start today. That's your scoop of the day. Comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Are you ready to enjoy a little slice of paradise? Check out this beautiful family-owned, professionally managed vacation rental in sunny Poipu, Kauai, Hawaii. Our family stayed recently and we absolutely loved it. The area is so beautiful and the vacation rental has room for up to six guests. Why stay in hotel rooms when you can all enjoy your own area in a vacation rental? Visit Hawaii and make your trip to this tropical paradise one to remember. Learn more at RadioTravelGroup.com. That's RadioTravelGroup.com. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Super excited to have back on the program Mr. Lee Majdub. Lee, how are you, sir? I'm very well, John. How are you? Very good. We talked in 2020, right before the the last Sonic movie came out, and then it was like the number one movie in the nation, which that's that's pretty cool, and I had a chance to see it. Great job on that, by the way, and congrats on that and the new one that's coming out. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. That's, it's, uh, it's wild. Two years since the first one, and, and now the second one's coming out, and we're, we're all so, so, so excited for everybody to see it. It's, it's such a great film. Such well, a great movie. And, and uh, you've, you've had a, a really fun career. You've had a chance to do a whole lot of fun stuff. But this character in Sonic the Hedgehog, and then you get to reprise uh, Agent Stone in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So you, this, this is kind of a fun character. Is this anything at all like the real Lee or completely different than you? Oh, I think everybody I play has, has some flavor of Lee in there. Um, Stone, there's definitely there's definitely me in there. It's it's not uh, it's not the hardest thing to to play certain elements of them. I think uh, I think we both share being empathetic and big hearted. Uh, maybe maybe sometimes too much with uh, with, <laughs> with 
certain people. So I think I think Agent Stone might be the only person on the planet that uh, that cares as much about Robotnik as uh, as anybody does. Now you've had an opportunity, like I said, to play a bunch of different characters in a bunch of different films and TV shows. But one of the things that I wanted to chat with you about is you're actually from Lebanon and you've moved to the United States. How how different is like where you're from compared to living here? It's like two different worlds, isn't it? Oh yeah, I mean I was my parents grew up you know, lived through the war more than I did. So I, I owe a lot to them for, you know, seeing what was happening. I was born there. I was quite young when we got out of there, um, you know, and, and tried to make a better life for, uh, for me and my sisters. And, you know, we'd go back and visit. And I, and I remember it was, it was quite different. We had, there were like military checkpoints and, yeah. and, and it was, you know, it was quite different be there versus being, uh, you know, in Canada and the United States. Um, It's quite tragic, too, you know what I mean? But also such a blessing to be afforded the opportunity to, I don't know, decide that I wanted to pursue acting and have the support of my friends and family. Absolutely. Here we are. And and I also see you speak five languages, Italian, English, French, Arabic, and Japanese. I struggle with just one. How do you keep it all straight, speaking Uh five? Okay, so to be honest with you, Italian was my first language. That's where we first moved when when I was a baby. Uh, so Italian is, is is barely there now. It's, it's in the it's in the background. I think if I spend like a week with it, it'll come back. Japanese, I took six months in university uh, and learned as much as I can. Um, so I managed to use a little bit of it on on the on the blue carpet the other day with uh, some of Sega Japan's. Uh, Extremely amazing people, uh, and then yeah, Arabic and French was at home, and, and English I learned through, through schooling. That is awesome. Now uh, we've got again Sonic the Hedgehog two. It's in theaters right now, and what can people expect when they get get a ticket and come in and watch this new film? Is it is it? It's an extension from the last one. Uh, are you excited for for yeah. what we're going to see on the big screen? Oh, this okay. This movie has to be seen on the big screen. The, the CGI, what, what they've done with the animation, the action sequences, uh, the, the the new things that they they show Sonic being able to do, his interactions with Knuckles and Tails, Robotnik's got crazier gadgets and, and that big neck. It's it's such a wild ride, nonstop. Uh, I think everybody's. You know what? I think I know. Ninety-nine percent of the people that watch this are going to enjoy it, if not a hundred percent. That is awesome. Well, I'm excited for it. Again, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, officially out right now, and I've got a link to the trailer, and you can find a, a theater near you that's playing it. And Lee, like I said, last time we talked was February 2020, right before the first one came out, and then it was the number one movie in the nation, so I think that you got the John and Heidi show luck. bounce, right? Yeah, that's what it is. Y'all are good luck. Thank you so much. We're going to crush it. Yeah, we, we had you on the show again. You're going to be number one again. So. Yeah. There we go. There well, we go. I appreciate it. Thank you again for taking the time to chat, and congrats on the success of the last one. I know this one's going to do phenomenal as well. Thank you so much. Nice talking to you. Absolutely. Again, uh, Lee is in the new film, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. It's in theaters now. You can check it out. I'll throw a link to all of the information in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. What can I say that I haven't already said about BetterCreditCards.com? It's a website. You go there to get a better credit card. Okay, that's really probably all I need to say for most of you, but I still have time left, so how about this? At BetterCreditCards.com, we have different kinds of credit cards, some with better points and perks, some designed to help you build your credit. Whatever stage of life you happen to be in, we want to help. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Cats have fewer toes on their back paws. I don't know why. Really? Yeah, but they do. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The Los Angeles Coroner Department has a gift shop. What? Why? I don't know why. Fun fact for you, Heidi. (laughs) What was that, John? The driver's expensive car, drivers of expensive cars, have been found less likely to slow down for pedestrians and more likely to feel a sense of superiority over other drivers... To break traffic rules because they drive a fancy car. Really? I've never had to worry about that. I've never had a fancy <laughs> no, car. Exactly. Yeah. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Uh, by the way, if you wonder which car I drive, drive by the station. If there's one that looks like you need to push it to get going, <laughs> that's probably me. <laughs> 
All right. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Studies show that bronze medalists are happier than silver medalists because they are happier that they got a medal at all. So the third place is happier than second place. Second place is like, I was almost first. Third uh, place is like, hey, I at least I got a medal. Yeah. And our final fun fact for you, What's Heidi. What's that, John? A typical microwave oven uses more electricity operating its digital clock than it does heating food. Really? Yeah, we could probably remove those clocks because they're usually not right anyway. Huh. All right, thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Are you looking for an energy drink that's natural, lasts longer, has no dyes, no artificial flavorings, and no sugar? Blitz Energy Drink is the answer. With only 10 calories per serving and 200 milligrams of caffeine, our formula will help increase your focus, endurance, mood, and energy levels. Order now at drinkblitzenergy.com. Use promo code RADIO20 to save 20% and get free shipping on any canister. Drinkblitzenergy.com. Promo code RADIO20. That's drinkblitzenergy.com. Now, the question of the day comes your way, courtesy of RadioTravelGroup.com. Here's the question, and I'm going to see if Heidi can get this right. All right, here we go. A survey of parents with kids under the age of 14 say this is their biggest challenge every day. What is it? Kids under the age of 14. Kids under the age of 14, which is not us. That ship has sailed here. Getting them to dress themselves to go to school. Uh, No. get out the door. No, No. you were kind of on the right track, though. A uh, survey of parents with kids under the age of 14 say their biggest challenge every day is getting their kids out of bed. Well, yeah, same thing. you oh, got to really? get them up and get them moving. <laughs> no, that's why I said you were on the right track, but okay. I'm just telling you right now, that was not the same thing. It was close. Okay, so tell me, was that the same thing? No, they're getting them no. ready for school in the morning. No. That's what I Everybody said. says that you're Whatever. wrong. Whatever. Oh my all god! All I'm listening to this monitor in my ear. They're all telling me Heidi's wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one of them's telling me you don't have a monitor in your ear, but the rest of them are telling me you were wrong. All right, question of the day comes your way, courtesy of RadioTravelGroup.com. Join us in October for The Sands, a week of music and fun that's been described as the best week ever by many guests. This year, we have more icons and more fun. Loverboy, Belinda Carlisle, Lou Graham, Vanilla Ice, Samantha Fox, Firehouse, and many more already on the schedule. Plus, more announcements coming soon. Plan to join us October 25th through the 30th at Planet Hollywood Beach Resort Cancun. This all-inclusive event will be the time of your life. Learn more now at Radio Travel group.com now some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com over 40 dogs got to make a splash in venezuela's capital when they had the first canine pool party of the year oh how cute yeah pandemic restrictions have been easing so they decided to open things up for the dogs too there's a pet suites hotel the guys own it for 10 years apparently okay and one of the things that they do is have like a big pool party for dogs that is so yeah. cute it's a neat idea it's it's a little different as i'm reading through this there's some bizarre things they do but uh, all in all it sounds like a ton of fun uh, they say things are looking for better for the people and for the pooches now but the party place for pets accommodates up to 100 dogs. And there are times that it is completely booked up, like Easter, Christmas, and other times now for pool parties. So that sounds like fun. I would take our dog to a pool uh, party. She doesn't have a swimming suit. <laughs> <laughs> she right. will. Weird News brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. <laughs> Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Here are some adult problems we were not ready for, according to the Internet. Planning meals. They say it's such a chore to feed yourself and your family every day. So that's something Heidi's been I really good at. I yeah. love to do that. Other thing he says, every day on repeat. They say once you're stable, your life kind of becomes Groundhog Day. Same yeah. job every day, same foods all the time, same shows all the time. That is true. Uh, Next one, dust. How did I not notice there was dust everywhere before I was an adult? That's true. (laughs) Well, mom and dad probably kept it nice and clean. Yeah. Chin hairs. Yes. Nobody told me females would have to deal with this. Uh, Another one, it says, nothing is free. We spend like $1,000 a month between taxes, insurance, and other stuff that we already pay for. Like we paid for the house, we paid for the car, now we got to pay taxes too? And then the other one, says birthdays. They will stop being fun. When it's a constant reminder that someday you're going to just quit getting old and die. Well, that's not a nice thought. (laughs) Wow, what a list. Brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. 
Are you ready to enjoy a little slice of paradise? Check out this beautiful family-owned, professionally managed vacation rental in sunny Poipu, Kauai, Hawaii. Our family stayed recently and we absolutely loved it. The area is so beautiful and the vacation rental has room for up to six guests. Why stay in hotel rooms when you can all enjoy your own area in a vacation rental? Visit Hawaii and make your trip to this tropical paradise one to remember. Learn more at radiotravelgroup.com. That's radiotravelgroup.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Here's the quote. Uh, It's from the musical The Waitress. Waitress the Musical. There's a musical called The Waitress? No, it's called Waitress. Waitress the Musical. Okay. Cal says, Are you really pushing you are really pushing my buttons today? Becky says, which one is mute? Ha! Did I tell you it was a musical? <laughs> so I think Cal said, "You are really pushing my buttons today." <laughs> then Becky said, "Which one is oh, it?" Or something man. like that. I don't know. I I might have been off key. Hey, thanks for listening. It's your quote of the day. If you come across something that I don't have to sing that's funnier than this, you can submit that at the bottom of the page at johnandheidyshow.com. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Monday. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of RadioTravelGroup.com. A man has been living in Beijing International Airport for 14 years. A lot of people online that are comparing this to a movie Tom Hanks did called The Terminal. Okay, yeah. So this guy in Beijing... 14 years he's been living in the international airport. Really? He's been there, so, quote, so he can smoke cigarettes and drink alcohol without his family nagging him, end quote. What? Yeah. Yeah. This guy's been living in the airport of his own free will after losing his job. Why Zhang Wu said he simply spent his days drinking and smoking. His family eventually told him, hey, you have to give up those two big pleasures if you want to continue living at home. Well, so that, he said, fine. That was not an option. So he simply moved to the airport. Wow. As he told the reporter, my family told me if I wanted to stay, I had to quit smoking and quit drinking. And they gave me my monthly government allowance. But then how would I buy my alcohol and cigarettes? So he decided he'll just go to the airport. I don't know what he eats. I don't know where he sleeps. I don't know how he lives. Wow. Isn't that a weird place? And to that's sit? totally okay with the airport. Apparently. I don't know. Uh, um, here's the thing. Why the airport? Why wouldn't he live somewhere else? This I, probably doesn't cost him anything to be at the know. airport. If he's I've, just like sleeping on a bench or whatever. I've had layovers at the airport that it's weren't It's miserable. Fun. Yeah. I mean, six hour layover is not fun. I cannot imagine 14 years of living there on your own free will. So it's just... How is that good news, by the way? That probably should have been weird news. <laughs> That's not good news. As I I'm mean, thinking about this, I wonder if I put this in the wrong place. <laughs> Pretty sure I did, because that sure doesn't seem like good news. Man. I don't know how we would have made that good news. All right, time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Sorry for ripping you off on your good news. Maybe I'll do two good newses in the future. huh? Two good newses. Yeah, something like that. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show.